Hello and welcome back in this new episode of the Python tutorial series. In this episode I recap all the stuff about window that I mentioned in the previous episode to create a window class that I can use for future projects. So let's start creating our my window class and initialize it so def underscore init underscore and we want the parameter width height and the name of the window. Obviously we must import the Piglet module so we open parentheses and write piglet.window.window with the big W. This line of code says to Python that the my window class can only be a piglet.window.window and this is very useful for our goal. And to activate this super class we must use a super function so super open and close parentheses dot init and then we pass the width, the height, the name and the resizable must be true. Then we create some parameters, we import all the stuff uh, content uh, into the piglet.gl module. Then we can use gel clear color to set the background color. To white then we can create uh, our first window let's test it uh, writing uh, piglet.app.run mmm the black color I don't like it very much the black color is because we don't clear the background so let's introduce the on draw function that clear the window and then we must throw some points so import the math model then let's create a function create polygons that takes in input the end value of vertices, the x position and the y position of the center of the polygon. Then let's create an angle, 2 pi divided by n. Let's create our first vertex in a prefix position. For all details about this function, you can find in the 14 episode of this series. Then we can create the other vertices, so the x and y formula are those. And then vertex dot extend x, y, 0. Then we want to move the vertices and then we want to return all the vertex. Then to create the color data just return an array that is filled with zero. Now we can create the self.points variable equals piglet.graphics.vertex list for vitrefs stream create polygons for and the color with a type c3b color data for as you remember we want the x and y position of the mouse minus the semi dimension of the window in the on draw event we want to draw points so points draw with the gl dot line loop and here it is, now we want to adjust the resize function because it's not work properly. So let's write the onResize event. The matrix that we want to change with the gel matrix mode function is the gel model view. Then we want to load the identity matrix and write a gel ortho function that is different from before. I don't know why, but if you create a super class like uh, this my window class, the resize change the gel ortho function is width minus width height minus height minus one and one. And then we want to move the camera with the gel viewport about zero zero width and eighth and we want to store the information about the new dimension so self dot width equals width self dot eighth equals safe. I'm a very bad speller. Now we can use the movement of the mouse with the on mouse motion event that takes in input the x, y, the x and dy position and the self x become x and self y become y but first we must set these parameters and when the mouse is moving we want to change the points of the polygons so copy here input x and y okay it's working the last things that I want to implement is the zoom with the mouse wheel therefore on mouse scroll if I don't scroll the mouse the zoom is equal to 1 if the scroll variable is positive then zoom becomes something bigger than 1 like uh, 103 or if scroll is negative zoom become 0 0.97 finally I insert a gel ortho function with negative zoom zoom negative zoom zoom minus 1 and 1 perfect if I resize the window, uh, that's that's okay, that's okay. So this is the window class that I use in the next episode. If you want, you can find it in the description. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time.